What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I want to let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two-hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's going to be available at MyInvestingClub.co, the link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. So guys, welcome to the webinar. Um, just kidding, this won't be my last webinar. Um, we're honored to have Joe with us this time. And this time, like, um, we actually, I mean, like we can actually like, he's got a video. So like last few webinars, you didn't even, you didn't have a video, so it should be more fun. Should be anyway, more yeah, fun. We're, just, we're just gonna talk about biases today. Um, one, of the, one of the people in the Lifetime room talked about it. And I was like, you know what? That sounds like a good thing to talk about. I had something else planned, but I'll do that next week. So yeah, we're going to talk about biases, flipping biases, over getting over bias, all that good stuff. And I also really want to talk about the market and where it's at. And we'll, we'll, we'll pick Joe's brain on where he thinks the market's going. Not a fucking clue. Exactly. Right. That's, that's obviously everybody. Uh, what's up, Victor? Okay. So let's get started. Yeah. So for those of you who are, this is their first webinar. Welcome. Thanks for coming this week. Um, I, I, we're gonna, we're gonna start out by going over the key traders. I honestly didn't trade shit this week. It was my least, like I haven't trade. I like, I basically took this entire week off. I had like, you know, a couple of low hanger trades, which I posted in the chat throughout the week. I'm not going to go over them because they're, I mean, they're just simple, basic low hangers. Um, I want to go over market sentiment. I do want to let you guys pick a choice. So at, start thinking you guys, um, every I, starting going forward from every webinar, I'm going to ask you guys anything you guys want to talk about. Just you guys all collectively vote on something that we'll talk about and we'll talk about it for like 10 or 15 minutes. Then we're going to get into the heart of the webinar. Uh, Joe and I are going to go over biases, you know, where we, where the, you know, where we think the, the wrongs are and the rights are in, in formulating a bias. Then we're going to end the webinar with Q and A. And if you have a question based on what we're talking about, just go ahead and, and post the question and, you know, we'll try to get to it if it's, uh, if it is um, relevant to what we're talking about. All right, without further ado, let's go and Joe's for dinner. So I did trade AYTU um, at the day before it got nuts. And this is the only trade I'm going to really talk about because uh, it was really the only like real trade I kind of took this week. I took basically every other day off. Basically, this is a line short right off the open. This is something that a lot of you guys like to do. But a lot of you guys, and this is, I was going to talk about this next webinar, but a lot of you guys have a little bit of intolerance around lines. Like you guys, you guys go and short into a line, but you guys will be so nervous that it, that it's going to go to the next one. And it's probably because you're going maybe a little bit too big at the line or you're hesitating to go the way I do it guys. Yeah. So if, if you want to go full, full size on a line short, you really got to have a tight risk. And I honestly don't recommend it right at the open of the gate because right at the open, your one cent stop losses are, are doomed right? Your one cent, two cent, three stop loss. You might as well just hand the market your money because you're, you're gambling. Like it is a line short, but when you have that tight of a risk right in the first five or 10 minutes, you're basically gambling, hoping that it doesn't go to like 152, right? And oh, I got to get out, right? So this is a line short. I don't go full size. I'll, I'll put the, the order at the line in case it wants to be nice, but then I wait for it to top out before like really show, hey, my line's working before I go and add size. That's what I did with this one and follow the process. I stick, I stick to my number one rule where I don't go big until the risk is confirmed or lowered. I recycled it and I covered near the morning lows or the pre-market lows. So that's the only trade I really want to share. It's just very routine, very process. This is the kind of stuff that I want every single day. I could care less about the, the, abno the abnormalities that's going on right now. Like give me one of these every day and I'm, and I'm chill. You don't want to short JNUG? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to short any ETFs right now. <laughs> I had two trades on Boeing today. I, I lost like fucking bullshit. Like I'll show you guys this fucking bullshit. Right? <laughs> like, You're like a loss and it's fucking bullshit. Like, like, <laughs> You ever see that picture, that meme where it says reasons why I lose in a trade? 1% right. 
pie chart. One percent I was wrong. The other ninety nine percent fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> it's like this is a bullshit trade, dude. Like I showed it. I showed it this fucking shit. I'm like, oh, dude, look at it go. You're this, like, oh, it's going to tank. And dude, then I, I, I looked and I have a formula with these. I get in, I get in half and then I add it as it continues to go. Like, that's what uh, I do. I did it here and I did it here. I did it here. Like, and so I was, I, I get in here. I'm like, okay, perfect. It broke 59. Here we go. It tanks. Dude, I, I'm like kind of paying attention, but I'm like, I feel like I'm in the money now. Like, I feel like right, I don't have yeah. to watch it as close. What's and about like, to make a new low of the day? Why would you not think it's going to have some continuation further? Dude, like, I, I literally, I looked over and, like, I'm just like, what? 162? Fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> close, that, <laughs> close that fucking trade. Like, and then, and then it just, like, pops, and then it pops up. I'm like, this, this motherfucker is a long. So we've talked about, oh, let's talk about leveling up. That was okay. one of the other higher rated questions. Right, yeah, let's talk about it. You have already, but we're going to do it again. Oh, shut up, Joe. <laughs> it's true. You did. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so leveling up. The uh, one, one thing that if you really want to level up. You talked about how. So let's, let's talk about, like, knowing when. Yeah. When is it time? Yeah. Uh, okay. Obviously, how um, is slowly. You just, like, what, just a quick sentence on it. Try to get, if you're trying to level up, Try to get to an all-time big size by like 100 chairs or two, right? Just literally be yep. like, hey, I've never been in 1,700 chairs before. I normally do 1,500. Dude, just being at 1,700, you're leveling up. Anyway, so that's a quick the snapshot on how when to level up is when you're Victor, when you're as good as Victor. Um, that's honestly the truth. When, <laughs> when it's time to level up after you thought that it's time to, to level up, and you've forced yourself not to level up a couple times. Like, that's one thing that, um, that, that Vic and I talked about for uh, a little bit, like a month or so ago, is, is leveling up. And it's like, Vic would just show me a couple of these charts, and it, it would just be like, he'd be like, dude, you're doing awesome. And he's like, can I level up? And I said, fucking no. Dude, like, prove to yourself for a couple, like another month or so before you even attempt. Because I promise the second you're ready to level, you think you're ready to level up, you're about ready to hit a little red streak and you don't want to be leveling up on that red streak. You just, the how is slowly, the when is when you feel like you're t it's time to level up, give yourself like another month, dude. That's, I mean, that's a simple answer. Do you have a better answer? <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was, so whenever I started increasing my size, I went through that phase of like, like every other day trader that wants to increase their size, you know, because you want to, you feel like the only reason like you're not making uh, as much as everybody else is because you need to use more size. So usually what would happen to me is I would have a good two or three weeks of just green trades and I would hit, <clears throat> I would hit this streak and I'd be like, all right, it's time to size up. And I would size up on the wrong shit, right? Oh, yes. Every time. Every fucking time. And I would take a fat fucking loss and I would size right back down. And I'd be like, son of a bitch. And I actually um, just recently increased my size again from what I used to scalp with. And the reason why I did it is because, so used to, <coughs> my starter size was like 300 shares. Well, so in the beginning, it was like 100 shares. I would use like that dollar a share rule where I'm like, it can go a dollar a share against me on my starter size and I'm not going to freak out. So in the beginning, that was like a hundred bucks and I'm not going to freak out. I could care less. And then it graduated to where I was literally like, I wasn't afraid of a hundred dollar loss anymore. And I was consistent. And so at that point, I didn't think about how long I'd been on a streak. I didn't think about anything. It was just in my gut. I knew I could size up and it wouldn't be bad. Uh, I wasn't sizing up because I wanted to see my P&L increase. I was literally sizing up because I was fucking bored out of my mind. I was bored with the money. Like I was like, this shit is so fucking irrelevant. Like I need some, I need to get the blood pumping. And so I went to 300 share starters. And so I started 300 shares. And then the first time it happened, I was, I was like, whoa, that's a bigger number. And, and so I had to hide the P&L because 
I knew that if I saw it or looked at it, I'd be like, whoa, because I was used to trading the prior size. So I had to hide the P&L, pretend it was the same size, have faith in the strategy, have faith in my account size, that I wasn't going to like all of a sudden draw myself down a lot. Got comfortable there. And now the next level, I went to 500 share starters. And that's <coughs> when I trade equities and not options. That's pretty much where I start. That's like my starter size now is 500 shares of a big cap. Let's say it's, you know, like less than 70 bucks a share, right? That's pretty much my starter because it can go a dollar against me and I lose 500 bucks. Okay, whatever. And that's fine. And it's getting to a point like today. Today I was down a G on Apple. Wasn't even afraid. Wasn't even scared. So I'm going to be increasing my size again pretty soon. But it's because I've built up a padding and I, dude, I just didn't even, it, I looked at it and I went, oh, I'm down a grand. Okay. Well, if I stop out, I stop out. And that's the mentality you have to get to. It's, you can't go in there gunslinging because if the loss hurts, you're too big. All right, guys. Thanks for showing up. Thanks two times. You guys are too nice. Right on. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.